today's video, we're gonna be trying something out a little bit more fun and definitely different to what we normally do. We're gonna be trying to go from a product concept to a physical product coming off one of these machines behind me all in a day. Oh my God, I'm sweating, I'm so nervous doing this. This is hard work, this is. Do you want to save the day? Yeah, you can do it. Go on. Good morning, it is now 5.57. I feel like the older I get, the earlier I seem to be waking up. Every single day I am having my exact same breakfast, which is about 70 grams of granola, uh, probably a protein shake and just a glass of water. It is Monday the 14th which means the deal is supposed to close off this week, which is great news. And yeah, it's been a crazy few weeks. The dog is here, as usual, looking chill. I'm now going to head into the office, where we're going to have a few meetings. Me and James actually recorded a really cool video today, a video on, uh, basically we're going to try and make a product from start to finish uh, today. So, all right, let's get cracking. Where we get to on this product today, I'm not 100% sure. Hopefully something great comes out of the machine. But what I will say, comment down below and subscribe to this channel. We're almost at 200,000 subs. If you do comment, then what we'll do at the end is we'll pick one person at random and you'll be able to keep whatever comes off the machine today. Stage one, design. So I'm here with Tim and Lois and we are gonna essentially design a men's seamless t-shirt. This isn't how we normally do things. This is just a one-off challenge to see if we can pull together a seamless top in 24 hours. So, right, we want one times men's seamless t-shirt. Black, because I only wear black. Where should we start? Wait, what's branding like then? Small logo. Like that Collarbone sort of area. Small heat seal. Physique accentuating jacquard in. Uh, and the, I think the gym chart word up the back, I think it would look cool. The back here? Yes. The gym, gym chart text here, a little smaller than that. I always find that with seamless, it's so much better to edit on the form than yeah. it is on an actual card. It never looks the same as off screen, never, does it? Never, yeah. And to have an idea in the morning, make it in the afternoon and have a product by the time you go home. It's amazing. Like, don't know any other brands that can do that? No. I think it will go like here. Something more like that. I just think we need to move it down a little bit. Think we're done? Fine, that's perfect. Send that over to Dave. I'm going to run over to the lifting club and then hopefully he'll be able to program this into the machine and get it made. Yeah. So we've now just designed the product and I would say as well, we normally obviously have a lot more sort of processes and things that we would run through when we're building a product. Today we're doing something really quickly, really streamlined and we're trying to get something off of the machine in a day. So we've designed the product. Lois and Tim have then fired over the product to Dave, Ashley and the guys over in the lifting club and they're going to be using that to program the machines to then hopefully build some samples. Normally between that you would have sort of our product marketing teams, you would have the development teams who would get involved in terms of you know the jacquarding that we use in the fit, sleeve length, so many different things, materials, product marketing around the purpose of the product so the PM team would really manage that and you know follow the process of the product from inception to uh, the very very end but today just because we want to get a machine product off the machine we go in straight from design getting the designs over to the guys and then using that to program the machines so we've got design we're happy with what we've got we're now going to wander into this room here which is in the lifting club it's our innovation center we've got our seamless machines next door and we're going to be working with the team to try and get this top made as quickly as we can i'm excited for this yeah. So the guys have received a tech pack, so after the design, the design gets moved into a garment tech pack. James, you put one on the screen. <laughs> and then uh, that comes over to these guys, and then they prepare that on the machine, and then hopefully program the machine so that the t-shirt will come off. Yes, so basically what we'll do, yeah. we'll, uh, when, once we receive the tech pack, I'll just start drawing, like uh, here. Yeah. Once it's drawn, then we just convert it into stitch structure. So all this stuff, represent all the different stitch you're going to have on your t-shirt yeah so on the on your left hand side here you've got your t-shirt mm -hmm. and your right hand side is your programming for the center new machines yeah then once it's done here we use the pen drive then we load the program on the machine so you then put that into the machine into the machine 
Shall we do it? Yeah. After we've designed it, done the tech pack, uh, the guys have programmed the machine, and then the design sits on this drive, which then goes in here, and then it'll come off the machine. The USB stick is in, everything's ready to go. The guys have set it up, and now we're about to hit start. And now we have lift off. So it starts with the with the hem yeah. first. Once done the hem, then we close it, then it will uh, carry on knitting the body. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that! That is so cool. So video is on my phone. So that's knitting this up here, and then once the garment has been finished, it gets cut off. It gets sucked down this tube um, and then pulled out to the other side into a bag as you've got here. Um, come out of there and then uh, that's where the finished products will come from. There it is. So hopefully, ah, you'll be able to see here. Right, so that's the front. You can see the chest area here, just underneath the chest. This is the back. And what the guys have just told me is that the reason that this is so big is because it now needs to be washed at 90 degrees and then it should come down to a normal size of a medium men's seamless t-shirt. The sleeves will be knitted separately. So uh, here we go, perfect example. This will be one tube. And then as you can see, these will come off a different tube, which will then be sewn on. So here's the, here's the sleeves. Like on a tube, you'll get the left and the right sleeve. Mm -hmm. And all this pattern is drawn. Mm -hmm. So when it goes for cutting, they can just follow the pattern here. Mm -hmm. Do it. Yeah, why not? Okay. Live once. That's now knitting the sleeves. That's going to take about five minutes. When the sleeves come off, then we will have to put it into the wash and then we will use the heat press machine. We'll put the logo on, sew it all together, and then by then, hopefully, we'll, we will have a finished product. <laughs> so, there you go, then, James. That's the sleeves right there. You cut in lines, and there's your left sleeve, as it says. Right, so now we need to wash all of this, yes. sew it all together and heat seal it with a logo. Cool, right then, let's rock. Uh, we wash it at uh, 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. What does that take, two, two and a half hours? Two, two, two and a half hours to wash it. So look, post wash, you can already see how much smaller it is. Look at it now, that looks like a little bit more like a t-shirt. Right, what's this? The collar. Ah. So that's also done the same way. Yeah. Uh, you've got obviously about six collars there. Yeah. So essentially what you're doing is then you've got the body of the top here and then you're going to be putting the two sleeves on and the collar. And, collar. and then logo. Yeah. And then finito. Uh, so we're cutting the, following the cut lines uh, as we're going. This is going to look like a really good video this will. It's going to be so cool. Be so many people won't have seen this. So how many collars is that? Five collars in a tube. So the logo will go on the inside of the collar and mm -hmm. that's the outside. So once cut, sleeves cut, looks like this. So are we going to put the logo on, on first? Yeah. Right then, James, that's now been cut. As you can see, there's the main body. Here's the sleeve that's going to come on. But next step is to put the logo on. The logo that will go on this top. Okay. It's smaller than this one, isn't it? So in a factory scenario, you'd have a template, so you'd, you'd place it in exactly the right position. Yeah. Press it, it's closed. And there it is. Right then, next step, sewing the sleeves on. Wow. you've done that can I ha can I try have a go at this yeah. I haven't used a sewing machine since I was about 21 and I've never used anything as good as this I don't want to do it can I have a go I don't want to do it wrong yeah. what do I do then oh, well, do oh I feel like I've got a hard bit it's quite a hard process then. oh god <laughs> I feel like you're throwing me into the deep end so what this line goes where these two end yeah so it's going to be something like this and then you push down on that yeah is this all right yeah is that all right yeah I don't feel like it's all right. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sweating, I'm so nervous doing this. Okay, I feel like, 
How come I'm losing so much fabric? Do you want to save the day? Yeah, you can do. Go on. <laughs> We'll cut so it looks Yeah, like just make it look, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, do you have an industrial yeah. machine when you No, it no, we home had machine. just a home machine, yeah. just a brother home machine from uh, Hobbycraft. Yeah. Thank you very much. And there it is. Literally dead on perfect. That's amazing that we've managed to get that done in a day. So I'm going to try it on in a second as well. But yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. You good, James? I like a footballer that just signed at a new club. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. Like, genuinely, to be able to do that as quickly as what we did is just out of this world. Yeah. So I think that's why it's so great that we've invested in these seamless machines because it gives us the opportunity to sample very quickly. Now, for everyone at home, that doesn't mean we can go off and make just things as quickly in terms of millions of units, but um, in terms of getting things sampled and being able to have like truly unique designs and make sure that we have the top-notch product quality, that all comes from this uh, agile sampling process. So there you have it. That's so cool, that is. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you. So we did it. I think there's definitely work that needs to be done on it. The collar's a little bit bigger than it should be. The fit's actually quite nice. The colour, obviously, we probably do a bit more work on that, but overall, I'm really glad we got it done. I'm absolutely buzzing. It was really cool, actually, to put this challenge to the product team, to work with the designers, to be talking to the developers, to be getting this made. And for me, even just for my education, to spend time with the guys, to be understanding how the seamless machines really work and have more of an intricate understanding of them. We set the challenge, we wanted to make a product in a day, and I'm so happy to say that we have done it, and the product actually has come out really well. So to finish up, I just want to thank you. There's been a load of new subscribers that have come through from the last video, which just went absolutely wild. So thank you to everyone that's viewed that. Thank you to everyone that continues to support me, and welcome to all the new subscribers. Please comment down below any other videos that you would like me to do. And as always, thank you so much for watching.